And one of the things that I promised God was that once I graduated, if he allowed it to happen, that I would pay it forward. scholars and welcome back to the Health Scholars channel. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. It is a pleasure to have you here. My name is Dr. Arubasa and on this channel, I show current and aspiring healthcare professionals how to one, quickly and successfully earn their degrees and two, how to start, build, and ensure profitable careers within the business side of the healthcare industry. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications. I promise you don't want to miss out. Now, today's video is all about really showing you places where you can find job opportunities. Specifically, I'm going to talk about a company that has just been deemed as one of the top 100 influential companies to work for by Time Magazine. But before I jump into the conversation for today, here's a few words from our sponsor. Do note that today's episode is sponsored by my course, which is titled From Healthcare Graduate to Hired. I'm so proud of this course, and I know that this is the course that you need if you are an active job seeker wanting to acquire a job in the healthcare space, particularly a non clinical healthcare job. In this course, I walk you through my five step strategy on how to go from active job seeker to hired, as well as I talk about things that people are not necessarily sharing with you on how to acquire a job in a digital era because right now we are in a digital era and many people when you're looking for jobs you're looking for these healthcare jobs online so how do you navigate that process so that it is successful in helping you getting hired also in the course you get a chance to work with me and the other students in the course I review your resume other job hunting documents we work together on creating your personalized job hunting plan because once again the ultimate goal is to get hired so definitely check out the course you can sign up by accessing the link in the description box and i look forward to seeing you on the other side all right so we are back and as i stated today's conversation we are talking about cvs health this is an organization that has been topped as one of the top 100 companies that you can work for it is influential by times magazine and really one of the reasons why i'm going over this organization is because i really want to provide you as community members at the Health Scholars channel with the ways on how you can find employment. I know that that's one of the biggest concerns for many people. And so I will try my hardest based on what I know to expose you to places where you can find job opportunities. And this is a part of a series. So depending on the organizations, I do vet them to make sure that they're legit. And so as I vet these organizations, I will come on and do extensive reviews of these organizations so that you are well informed on whether you to apply to a job at that organization or not. So today we're going to talk about CVS Health and without further ado, let's jump into it. Let me make my screen a little bigger. So let's talk about CVS Health. They are celebrating 60 years in business. Now, many of you may be familiar with CVS. It is a pharmacy and now retail pharmacy store and just a little bit about their organization. So when you go to the website at first, you can type in cvshealth.com or um, if you want to go directly to the job board, just hit jobs.cvshealth.com. Now I'm not going to link the website into the description box just to protect ourselves here at the health scholars. But if you just type in what I shared with you into the search bar, you can land on the same page. So on their job board website, you see they talk about their mission, vision, and values under the YCVS Health, benefits, diversity, military, student events, et cetera. And you may want to check out some of the upcoming events that they have, great opportunities for networking, okay? 
I firmly believe in networking. If this is your first time to the channel, I believe that of course, applying to jobs the traditional way by submitting applications online, it can be successful. But when you add that networking component, it can take you faster in getting hired than just waiting for the ATS system to push your resume, if it does it, to a hiring manager's desk. Okay. So human capital, remember healthcare is a human to human business. Keep that in mind. After their tabs, now here is where you can start to find job opportunities. But before we go to that section, I want to talk about the organization in a little more detail. So of course, they offer the retail store, but recently CVS Health bought Aetna and Aetna is an insurance company here, one of the larger insurance companies here in the US. They do break down their jobs depending on your interest. So if you're interested in beauty jobs, you can just click on beauty analytics, brand and innovation. If you want to work at CVS corporate, you can. Um, the Minute Clinic, so CVS has a Minute Clinic and they offer limited outpatient care services. So that's great. If you are a clinical professional, particularly a nursing or pharmacist, they have their specific tabs for you. If you're looking for remote work, they do offer it. They even have an international sector as well if you are a student. So here's a good thing about students. If you're graduating, you potentially want to get a fellowship or internship scholarship, you know, look at organizations and see if they have any programs for um, students like yourself who are getting ready to graduate or postgraduate students. And so um, many organizations do have some type of development program. I know CVS Health has it. Another one that's based in Texas is MD Anderson. And although none of these organizations are paying me to share their information, I really just want you to be well informed of what's out there so that you can get to the money. Okay. Get to the money. All right. So, um, you can even sign up for their mailing list and this can be another great advantage and opportunity because one thing about keeping people on the mailing list, you have to share valuable information. And so it's so easy for people to unsubscribe from a mailing list. And so one of the ways they keep you on there and engage is to share job opportunities. And they usually share that information first. So I encourage you to sign up for their mailing list. Now, the next section talks about their application process. If you're a returning applicant, because you do need to set up a account with them before you can submit in a job, you have candidate resources. They even have something called virtual job try out process that may be beneficial to you. Your FAQs, if you have some questions, they may have answered it here. But another feature that I like is that they offer contract jobs. So maybe you're an individual who is looking for some work and you want it to be full time, but you don't want to be tied to the job for no more than a year. Contract jobs may be helpful to you. Contract jobs give you the ability to leverage your own time a little better, to negotiate a little better. But most of the time when you're working a contract job, they don't offer benefits. So you, they solely pay you based on the hours worked and then they have their feature jobs. And this is another great place to explore because usually these feature jobs are what they're trying to get filled quickly. So this may be a great side for you to explore outside of that. This is just their blog. So I'm not going to go any further, but let's look at some available jobs that they have on the website. So I'm not going to put any job title or anything here, but in my course from healthcare graduate to hired, I talk about how it's very important to be very specific in the type of jobs titles that you put into these databases or search engines. It will lead you to direct information that can potentially make sure that you are a good fit for a position and or that you're submitting your application correctly, which fits the best of your background. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So when I hit search, this is what comes up. So ideally they have a full stack developer, store associate, operations manager. These are all in-person jobs. They do offer a remote work. And so I'll explore that in just a second. And, um, but these jobs here are on site. And so let's just look at the operations manager. Let's see what this job is all about. Okay. So it has the operation manager information here. It tells you where it's located. So Red Hook, New York, I, I believe that's Brooklyn, New York, if I'm not mistaken, or it may be upstate, depends. Um, but they tell you the job description. And one thing that you want to include on your resume, because although you see this job we're here, this is being managed by a really sophisticated African tracking system. 
based on what I know as a hiring manager and various companies that I have worked for that use ATS systems. CVS has the money to make sure that the African tracking system is really, really on point so that it reduces the amount of human labor that is used to look through applications. So you really want to make sure that if you want your resume to land on the hiring desk of a hiring manager at CVS, you have to make sure that your resume is loaded with the right key terms. And so if you are applying for the operations manager position, key terms could be like sales and inventory management, employee staffing, financial management, customer service leadership. These are good terms. And when you include these key terms in your resume, it allows the applicant tracking system to say, hey, all right, it seems like she's talking about the criteria that they set up on the back end, that it meets that criteria. So they'll potentially push your resume through. But remember it's software, it's technology, and you're going against a computer. So you have to keep that in mind. But you want to make sure your resume is loaded with keywords and make sure that you are a good fit for this position. So look at the essential functions. Can you do this or can you learn how to do it? And because this job is based in New York, New York has the pay transparency law in place. And so they do have to put a pay range. And so here they said at minimum $17, I believe this is per hour and maximum $29 per hour. Now, does this mean that you cannot negotiate your salary? Absolutely not. You can negotiate, but this is giving you an idea of ideally what they're willing to pay. So just keep that in mind. And then here's some additional information. You can learn more about their benefits because if you were to apply to this job and get hired, you would work directly for CVS. Now I want to take you to another section, which is the remote work. Let's see what remote jobs they have available. Okay. So I'm going to switch up the criteria a little bit and I'm going to just select remote and work from home. So do know there's a difference between remote and fully remote and work from home. Work from home means that you're in the comfort of your home, but you can't be out and about in the streets. You can't be in another country. <laughs> you have to be working from your house. Whereas fully remote probably allows you a little more flexibility and leverage to travel around and not just be glued to a desk in your home. So you have to keep those things in mind, even in the remote job market. If, are you wanting a work from home position or a fully remote, which gives you the flexibility to work from anywhere. Okay. So from our criteria update, so this position is still here, but underneath that they have senior manager, project management, technical support representative. Uh, let me look for some additional potentially administrative roles, coordinator, complaint appeals. That's potentially an administrative role, but really CVS hires both administrator and clinical knowledgeable professionals. So keep that in mind. If I was to look at a position, let's explore the coordinator complaint appeals. This is under their customer service department and the job says it's fully remote. Okay. So you don't have to worry about going into their organization. However, you need to be roughly I'm able to work in these time zones to so keep that in mind. It talks about the job description and what is expected of you. So really um, documentation is key, reporting financial, operational and quality objectives and goals for that given work, being able to work in a team dynamic digitally. So I emphasize that on your resume. Here is the pay range that there's listed as well as um, additional requirements of you. So with this role, you need to have at least a high school diploma. And then it talks about the benefits that they offer, because if you were to apply to this particular position, you will be an employee still of CVS Health. Now, I want to take you to the contract positions because like I said, you may be an individual where you're looking for full-time work, but you don't want to have that commitment to an organization for a longer than maybe a year. And so a contract position may be right for you. Now, I have personally worked contract jobs and um, I do like the contract opportunity because it allowed me with this particular role that I was doing healthcare consultant. These were my hours. These are my billable hours. This is what work you're going to get for the amount that's being billed. And, but in a contract job, particularly the one I worked, I had to write a proposal for in order to win the contract. So in this case, you may not have to write a proposal for contract jobs on the CVS Health, but um, they, I'm pretty sure they pay you a billable rate. So let's go to that section. So this is the contract job website and you see it looks a little different than the 
full-time jobs or jobs with CVS Health hiring directly. And so probably they're using a third-party agency to help manage contracts, but they tell you a little bit about themselves. Now with the contract job, you do need to put in uh, some type of keyword in order for you to take you to the contract position. So I'm going to put a basic one like manager and let's see what comes up. So I put manager into the search bar and this is what came up, a marketing manager. I'm going to click on the job position. And as you, as I stated earlier with contract jobs, you're not going to get any benefits or anything like that, but they pay you at a billable rate, which in this case is $50 an hour. Now, usually with contract jobs, because they're not paying you any benefits, it is an opportunity for you to negotiate a little higher your billable rate, because you may say that because you're not giving me insurance, I have to pay that out of my pocket. And here in the US, insurance is premiums are quite expensive. So you may negotiate that for a higher billable rate. And so negotiations when it comes to pay is very much possible in contract work as well, but it tells you it's temporary full-time. So should you be awarded this contract or be accepted for this contract, you'll be working full-time for a period of time, which they tell you here of the period of time in which you'll be working for. Now, some of the qualifications, Prior CVS or Aetna work experience, they say no. So that's good for you. If you never worked with CVS or did a previous contract with them, they're not expecting you to have that, but they are expecting you to have at least a high school diploma or a GED. Now, how many days you will work under this contract? It tells you here. So the consultancy input days, because you are a consultant in a contract job, and they tell you that you would ideally produce 262 hours of work or labor for this role. And um, it goes in a little detail about this position, but once again, this may be a good starting point for you. Or if you are a professional looking to pivot into the healthcare industry or just a professional looking to advance in your career, this may be a great opportunity for you. All right. So those are all of the jobs that I want to talk about, especially as we're exploring CVS health. I know several people who work for CVS, my brother-in-law, a good friend of mine, and many of them brag that it's a really amazing company to work for. My brother-in-law has been working in a management position with CVS for over 15 years, because that's how old my niece is. And he has been there since transferring from New York down to the state that they live in now. So do note that this is, can be a potential opportunity. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this, if it's helpful, or if you even apply to a job on CVS, let me know. I would love to see the um, praise reports or feedback reports. And until the next video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye for now.